Hi guys, this obviously isn't Minecraft. This is GTA, this is another type of video I'm making. It's um I've made a track out where I like to drive cars on and I'm gonna be testing out these cars first and then probably go along and test out the um other cars and hopefully can test out all the cars in GTA and yeah so that's fine so I'll cut it here and go up to the track and oh and also I'll test them stock standard so just the cars by themselves as you get them then I'll upgrade them to the fullest and test them again on the same track see if there's any difference if they're better if they're worse and so yeah, so, see you in a sec. Hey okay, guys, so, we're uh, up at the track. So I'll just cut it, because it would be easier. Uh, this is the first car, when you get free. Uh, yeah, a couple of, uh, whoop. this is the start of the track, and this is where it finishes. Goes around a kind of loop. Uh, yeah, oh, if the car crashes or burns or blows up or cannot actually finish the race, it will be recorded as it did not finish. Or if Michael goes flying through the window, it will be recorded as it did not finish. And then uh, we'll go, Mike, at the, after doing all the cars, might go back through the ones that did not finish and try to complete them. Uh, oh, and also using Michael as he doesn't have any car um, specialties, so yeah, don't have that, so we just start off and not really recording how fast they do, normally just your performance and that. Um, We do have a phone stopwatch, though. Don't know how accurate it will be. So, so I guess we'll start. Ah, yes, and with more traffic on the road, this becomes a lot harder. Been sideswiped by buses twice since the new update. Um, also, what we do on buses and vans and all the vehicles, even if they can't be upgraded, we'll still give them all work around the track. They might take a bit longer. So, I might be being a bit too careful with this car. Using the outside view so you can get a bit more look of the car rather than just looking at a bonnet. Ooh, ooh. Ah, yep. That's a tree. Ah, look at that. There there goes the bumper. This car seems fast, but it's turning is, yeah, and it doesn't really slide. It roots the road well without really turning. Uh, there's a bit of a handbrake here. Maybe it just needs handbrake instead of normal brake. Okay, a nice tunnel coming up here so we can rev the car, see how it sounds. Mm, not very... Yes, there's a shortcut there. And hopefully, oh, blind corner. Hopefully there's no cars in the road. Oh, 
Yes, playing with cards on the road also will give the car timing a different time. Some cars will be able to overtake cars a lot quicker and slip by, while others will struggle. So, it kind of gives it a bit more challenge for the driver. Oh, there's a. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and there's probably going to be lots of crashing. I was just trying to get around the course. Normally these corners coming up here are determined as a good car or not. As a good car, the one of the better cars, you can actually um, hold down the accelerator and just you will go around each corner perfectly every time without I had to use a brake there. Oh this one's going all over the place. And you actually hit the apex of the corner and go in and out quite smoothly. It's, oh, that's almost rich. So, yeah, the, this car is kind of fast. Sounds good. Looks nice. Doesn't really handle too well. Hopefully, oh, there's a push pipe. Yes, I ride a push pipe myself, so. Probably not a very good idea to do to people. Uh, coming up here, a little dirt off road. It watch out for the petrol pump so you don't blow up. Overtaking on the shoulder and again. And oh, oh yeah. All right, this hill. Is this hill is also good to determine like, the speed of a car? Some cars will actually slow down really badly going up this hill and will crawl up, even though they seem like a fast car, they'll actually struggle with this hill. This car seems to be doing quite fine. Um, that's that. And, oh, yeah, and go around this one. There's a couple of alterations to this track, but I'll keep this one fairly simple. So we go through the tunnel twice mainly. And we get a bit of an extra road that there's a longer version to this track and this is just the medium one, there's a short version. There's this track can be used as all different types of things. Oh. I always try to take this shortcut. And, yeah, and kind of ignore Michael <laughs> through the tunnel. Up over here, slow down so we don't fly too much. Oh. Round the corners. Across the finish line for six minutes and point eight one seconds. We'll leave it there and we'll go and get this done up. This is the damage it did to the car. Some nice scrapes on the side. Nice gouge one there. And of course I really smashed into the front a couple of times. Back looks perfect though. <laughs> okay, hope to see this car in a sec. Okay, so we're back. Uh, this is the RH8. So if you guys have any different uh, custom number plate on the back there, um, that's pretty how you know that the car's been upgraded. Unless you look on the, everything else has been upgraded. Um, Comment below if you have a different story with the RH8 to how you found it and everything else. Uh, so, yeah, um, sounds a lot better as well.
still doesn't hand it to her. Oh, and I ran into. Uh, can you see it? Uh, oh, oh, there we go. So, just ignore that damage. <laughs> yeah. I'm buying a scrap. It has 100% armor, so I didn't think that bump would really do much. Hopefully. So. Let me just. Uh, okay, just swapped out controller, so. Let's get ready. Three, two, one, go. Oh, that was it. So, this is GTA, so we drive like in GTA. Just keep pushing the car forward. Try to avoid them, but just keep going. I think the extra pressure is making me drive worse. Possibly, we'll blame it on that. Hit the corner, hit the corner. Oh, yeah. Up here. Some nice corners here, back front throw, bit of break in there. Up, oh, that was right on top. Okay, ooh, ooh, gee. Probably braked, handbrake a bit too late there. On no acceleration. Back fire there, Let's see how it goes. Sounds a bit better. Over the mound, take the other one out. Certain shortcuts are allowed. Oh, yeah, oh, that was nice. Still not handling too well, though. Breaking's quite good. You had to know when to break, so... Yes, the front end of this car likes to slide. It's, it's not just the back end that's sliding, it's the front end that seems to be losing control and... coming in. Some, oh, sometimes the back will slide out, but... It's actually, yeah. I'm not sure if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but it made it a bit harder to control. At least when it was a bit slower, it was more time to react. Now it's like, yeah. It's not even, I like the muscle cars a lot in this game because you can really flick the tail out in them. And that actually quite fun to go around corners. This thing just as soon as the back goes, the whole thing just goes crazy. It's like uh, you need a oh see like that. This goes crazy. At least they give it to you for free, so and it looks quite cool. It's a show car. Let's see how it goes in this dirt part. This stuff's a lot of cars up. No. Oh, no, it can't do it. That's another corner. If you can do that corner flat out and go around, it's sick. Normally a good turning car. Oh, 
I look at that slide. Oh, I almost got him. Oh, that was. <laughs> Uh, I miscalculated that by a long shot. And come up here. Maybe if we find a reasonable enough car, we might get other people to go for a drive in it and record them. And oh, that. what? So, coming up to the tunnel, yeah, this bit, always oh, breaking this hill, oh, you go flying into that hill over there, oh, that, cut the corner, cut this corner, not too sharp, or you'll jump over this, the same with this corner, and across the line. Well, that did it in... It wouldn't stop. That, that did it in five minutes. And 45. And my pins just died. Yeah. Ah, how annoying. Poor pin to die. Okay, so that's 15 seconds faster, way more crashes, and that's the RH8, so that'll be the end of that video, hopefully edit it and upload it, and hopefully we can do another one, and get them in scratch, oh look that scratch, so... Yeah, leave your comments below what you thought, if you thought it was good or bad or needed more crashes or whatever. Okay, see you everyone. Welcome everyone back to Rockley's GTA car thingamajig. Come up with a name eventually. Just keep saying it. Uh, this is the Brifter. Brifter? Brifter. Uh, Jim Buggy, uh, skip the space fun for a later day. Probably do that towards the end. Um, so let's get this going, see if it gets under six minutes uh, for stock cars. If it gets under 5.45, that's pretty good. So, three, two, one, start. Sliding in. This car is pretty. Oh, I know. So, when upgrading the cars, gonna be putting sports tyres on all the cars. Don't know if it does anything. Don't know if it's about. Because uh, we're racing. I want sports tyres for all the cars. And dropping the suspension and all, all that, so it make it all nice and good for racing and bad for everything else. Ooh. Has, this one has drum brakes at the front. And over the shortcut. Oh, that was nice. It's like this car was made to go off road. It's like trying to go kart. That's what I feel like. It's really good because it's nice and small on the road. So you can. Feels like you're driving down a one runway. Handbrakey. Oh, I don't even do a handbrakey. It just slides out by itself. Now that's great. Now, of course, this car would be a bit wet driving. Oh, not much of noise in the tunnel. 
No, look how fun it seems. Oh, go over there. Oh, oh, we. Oh, get stuck here. That will affect time. But I'm sure I can make it up. It's quite a nifty car. Oh. See, nip the back of that full jump. <laughs> Damage, uh, blood. That's always a good sign to you. Around the outside. Oh, around that car. So when did this car, oh, look at that. That was lovely. That's what we want in a sliding car. Something that sticks its bum out, but then pulls back in. This is a lot fun as you drive in the oven. I think I overdrove this car last time, that's why I probably didn't drive it very much. So, round. And the hand broke here. Oh, that was beautiful. Oh. It pulls back so easily, I keep pulling it back too soon. Look at that braking, oh, it's just hugging the line perfectly. Bit of bouncing there. Oh, we got a slide. There you go, oh. Don't seem to be jumping a bit, but most of the corners it's going flat out through. Oh, <laughs> except for that one, that one was hard breaking. This one likes to jump, probably because it's a gym buggy. Bush Park, we'll let him live. Probably the same guy. Using the shoulder. Coming up. And oh, through the petrol station. Yeah, see. Like I was saying before, some cars are quicker than others and can use the overtaking and don't have to go on the. Oh, she sliding, can hold it. Oh, well. Doesn't seem to be, yeah, this hill seems to be a bit too much for it. Yeah, we, you can see that it's slowing down as it gets to the top. So, even though this car seems fast and has lots of power, it obviously really doesn't have that much power, it's just light. By the way, I was sliding all over the place going down the hill. It's kind of, yeah. Ooh, there we go, nice and easy. Ooh. Yeah. Lost a bit of it there. But we're back in control. I'm surprised. I'm going to crash these cars a lot more when I drive. Must be trying to show off. And this corner, brake before turn, brake and turn. That's the second time that four drives done that. Oh, that's a bit more power to see. But probably when we put too much power in, everybody just go whoop, just slide right up. Also, when the track's raining and that, you also have to take that into consideration, so... And it's crossed the finish line, and that wasn't too good. Uh, that was 6.18.02. So, even though that felt faster, it was actually a lot, lot slower, so... We're going to do it up and see what it looks like then. See you in a bit.
Alright guys, so we're back. It's um put the roof on it in case it rains. Uh broccoli number plate, custom, exhausts, wheels, sports ties. I always try to use the same type of sports tie, just try and keep some things the same, do it to the max, it's chrome, even the extra stuff that probably doesn't need. So We'll give this a go. Ready? Three, two, one, start. There's a second delay there as I press the button and start, so but that's the second delay for everyone, so it kinda works out maybe. Not really scientific this. Ooh. This seems to be handling a lot faster. I haven't driven this car in a long time since it first came out with its other type of cars, which I think we'll see probably in the next couple of videos. The other types and um, the beach type, isn't it? The beach type, wasn't it? Is that last year or? Well, it was last year. <laughs> so, the year before. Hmm. Been playing this game for over a year. Must be a pretty good game. I'm still playing it. These characters have, I think, the most amount of money you can get, or near enough. And all three of the characters. Okay, coming through the tunnel now. Oh, that was a bit sneaky. That will slow down the progress of the time. Oh, watch out for the deer. Ah, I missed it that time. Oh, let me turn this way. Don't want to take that kind of too tight. If you do, you go for sleep. Jumping off into a side of a cliff. Oh, this does feel a bit faster. Just a tad. Some corners you want to slow right down for, others you just want to more acceleration into it. I hope you're watching the view because I'm not. Oh, look at that. Oh, I, I love that car. It's a nice light kind It's a nice empty. Oh. See if it sits closer to the bottom now. Those cars normally always turn normally. I have been caught out a couple of times. Oh, we used the brake there. Oh, it's jumping like anything. It still wants to be all over the road. Doesn't want to be in its right patch. Whoa, that was sliding. Here comes a tractor. Bye, tractor. So now we floor it. See if we can get in this car before the stop sign. That's good driving there. Out wide. Just wait until I crash someone and go flying through. Pretty sure this car has no seat covers. Seat belt, seat belt. Yes, the uh, sports tires really affect the off-road capacity. Sneak through the middle. Here we come out to the corner. Oh, yeah. You need to use brakes now. Ooh, seems to be climbing a lot better. 
The upward climb was very slow, so the upgrade does certainly work with this car. You actually do notice it still not too quick, maybe turning too much. I blinked then and everything went haywire. Blinking too much. Uh, Lots of guessing here. I guess no cars coming. Uh, we turn in front of this car. Oh, yeah. I guess I could have made that corner. Cut this one a bit. Oh, there's a car there. Oh, there we go. We got it again. Or was that a different one? Didn't you break much? We'll break a bit. Oh. Oh, that worked out nicely. Mm. And nice corner. Oh, nice. That's a nice cutting there. And across the finish line. Look, I pushed that. And that did five for. 8.78 5, 4, 8, so that's yeah, that's like 20 seconds so upgrading this car is worth a while you don't have to do for the hood oh look, there's blood on there, can we zoom in? blood and broken lights but Reasonable or nothing, and it's quite actually fun to work around those corners. I quite enjoy that. So, so yeah, that's it for that. Hope to see you in the next one. Or if you comment below if you like it, if you don't like it, if you hate it, if it's stupid or whatever. Troll if you want. Might read it. Hopefully I will. <laughs> Okay, see you in the next one. Hi guys, welcome back. This guys and girls, noobs and minecrafters. This is the Katakahai. Katakahai. Katakahai? Katakahai. Yeah, that thing. Um, I don't believe this will do too well. I've driven it up here and... Uh, yeah, if we have a look at the interior, it's kind of, yeah, spending a bit too much time on this, but, um, have a look, walk around, yeah, so, probably spent a bit too much time looking at this car, because this might take a bit longer than six minutes, oh, jump the clock, three, two, one, go. We'll talk about this car while driving as it has see that quick takeoff. What's that? Ah yeah. Stop being sarcastic. So left, right, left. It's smooth, I would say that it's very smooth. I wouldn't say fast. In no way would I say this car's fast. I'm pretty sure it's not going to have too much fun going up that hill. Quite smooth. Oh! Yeah. And... It corners badly. Already took the first thing up. I wonder if this will be the first to do not, did not finish. That would be interesting to see. There's so skinny tires on it. Oh! Can't even. Oh! There goes the bonnet. <laughs> this doesn't look good for this car. Should probably avoid them. It's actually funny. When I try to avoid them, I hit them. When I try to hit them, 
I miss them or I do hit them really badly. And they're spinning out. <coughs> uh, we'll try the handbrake up here and handbrake. Ooh. That actually was did a lot better than I expected. I was like, yeah, this guy's gonna be bad at handbrake, but it actually did slide. Maybe those skinny wheels do help. Give it a good view of those skinny wheels while driving along. Yeah. Cameraman and driver. Yep. And again. Ah. Uh, it looks like kind of a African safari car. So those small wheels, I thought you needed big wheels for sand. It's supposed to be an off-roader. I thought this would sink into the sand. Maybe it's light enough that it just sits on top of the sand. Oh, unless this car floats. But to be honest, I haven't driven this car a lot. As you probably see, I forgot all about this car. Did you forget about this car? Comment if you forgot about this car. Or if you actually like this car. Or if you drive this car a lot. Or if you actually went out and bought this car in real life and actually is driving it. That would be more interesting. Or if you actually knew the people who designed this car and then you can ask them why and when they say they did it for drifting you'll be like, oh my god, it's so bad. I think they're going to have to use the handbrake a bit more than I would normally do. Just to get that back end around. Too fast. Oh. I have to do some sliders. Sliding like I'm um, scraping along the side of the fender to try and get around the corner. That would be. Probably better. Yes, probably. Is there a rider? Hopefully not. Good. So, what's people's thoughts about the seal? Do you think it's going to make it up? I don't think it's going to be bad. Go, okay. Maybe if we all push it, it will go faster. And of course there's a car turning. Oh, right when you needed to speed, you speed up. Will we pass the tractor? I think we will. We pass the tractor. Yeah. It's sad when you're driving up here and cars like, actually pass you. <laughs> but, um, well, uh, this is probably as good as the buggy in the first time. So, really not that too bad. I'm kind of giving it a bit more shit than it really needs. Oh, edit that bit out. It does slide well, so... And we are passing other vehicles in it, so it's not like it's terrible. Will they be back? Oh, oh, just, oh I got this. <laughs> camera is going weird. Why is the camera going weird? And when does the camera start going weird? 
What's that line? Oh, sorry. It's not helping the driving of myself. I'm trying to look at the camera. Tint it. Oh, there we go. That's what I was talking about. The sliding. The rail sliding. That would be a better name. Oh! <laughs> Didn't even take out that thing. So, and across the line for seven oh one point five nine. So That's that. And just because this is a slow one, I'm going to take you... Oh, will I? Oh, I'll take you for the short run. This is how I get down to the car yard. You just drive off here and you just hit the sump. And... Oh, you... Go like this. It doesn't really matter. As long as it gets there, it's not on fire. And drive down here. It's quite close. That's also what's good about this track. Oh, that's... The front's breaking, but it's still going towards the wall. And it doesn't really matter if you just draw it now. I, really, all we're trying to do is get around that track, but if it blows up, it blows up. And... Ooh. I thought I could fit. p plate drivers. Oh. Yeah. Okay. More crashes in the way down to get it repaired. <laughs> and that's how you slide all the way across the lights. And slide again. Oh. I pulled the grenades out. Probably not the best idea. And so that's how. I get to the repair shop from that point. So, how much? Got blood on there. Oh, there's the exhaust. Oh, look at the front. Oh, we can see into the engine bay. Can we get over? Oh, we can't really get this. Oh, unless we do. Oop. Look at this. Oh, there we can get a bit of, of the engine. That's the engine there. That's the scraping. Scraping. Oh, hey then. We'll see you at the top of the hill. <coughs> uh, welcome back. I made the car black. As you can see. It's a little bit different. The wheels. Probably. And it's all black. Okay, let's start this off. Three, two, one, go. So, seven minutes to beat. Uh, put some side skirts on that and the wheel on the front because we may need the spare. Oh, seems to be going a bit better. I want to call overly good. It's Look, camera touching. Ah, uh, the camera's flickering. Why is the camera flickering? Uh, might have to pause time here and work out why the camera is clicking. Okay. Sorry about this. But stop time. Okay, and start again. Start. So uh, I don't know, it seems to do it on GTA a lot, the camera just starts flickering for some reason. Yep, look, it's doing it again. How weird. Is it just night time? Is it? Uh, no, it's...
For some reason the camera keeps trying to autofocus somewhere else. Oh, I didn't slide there. I was too busy worrying about the camera and making sure everyone can see it probably without flickering. Uh, one more card and get back to Minecraft. Finish off the. Oh! That was terrible driving. Did you see that? Oh. Oh, that was nice side there. Oh, I should, why am I watching the camera? Oh, because I don't want it to pay off again. Oh, trying to turn my lights off by driving. This car is getting it all. <coughs> so it might end up being the same time. <laughs> it's pretty lost some seconds. Ah, uh, yep, there we go. That's what I just did. And there was this guard route, I was just route grind. Here we go. Oh, oh. Returning. Oh, I didn't have to do it then. Okay, pause again. Alright, that's always fun. Been calling the middle of recording. Whoa! This, yeah, it's a bit faster. Though the car itself is still horrible. I remember, well, I don't remember this car. I think I probably drove it on this track once, but yeah, no. Nah. So this car would probably be fun to race, as you really have to slide the car everywhere to get anywhere. So it doesn't have enough power to properly slide, so. It's like sliding a Volvo, yes. I thought they were in the back. So, coming up to the petrol station, will we blow up? Will we blow up? Ooh, almost turned a bit too early then. Uh, we're pushing, we're pushing, we're turning. Well, that was slow, but at least it basically got around that corner fine. So I guess there's some good things about these cars and bad things. If you want to race your friends, probably make them all be in this car and might have a bit of fun. Many bad things about this car. If you go too fast in this car, you have no steering. If you go too slow in this car, it's really slow. But if you just want a country drive in a very slow car, then this is your best bet. Let's ignore that. Uh, oh, I mean, should probably put the marking here. But look, even there, you got away. Should I probably take this off off road and do a bit of driving and see what happens? 
Probably not good for a track car. Should we just go flat out over the jump? See what happens. Oh. Up on the wall. Look. Oh. Yay. I think this one's stuck. See, we needed the spare wheel because now we don't have five wheels. Cross the finish line, four. <laughs> okay, I don't know why they did it. Um, that did it in seven minutes and 36 seconds and 42 milliseconds. Okay, so that's that car. Um, don't buy it, you have buy it. I'm sorry for it. And oh, let's look at some damage. Mm. Smashing, smashing, smashing. The camera didn't help, but smashing. At least it had more damage. So, see you on the next car. Hello, everyone. Roughly back. This is um, the Paradise uh, try around the course. See what happens. Uh, Seems, I don't know if it's going to be better than the last one. <laughs> the last one was pretty bad. Always put me off. But let's get this go. Three, two, one, start. As you notice, it is a van. The camera's working a bit better on this one. Don't think the camera liked the last one. Um, mm, what should we say about it? It seems to be starting off very well. Sometimes vans are quite fun to drive. I like racing vans. Everyone's... No one really has a done up van thing at home. So it's... Kind of good, and they're not too slow either. They're actually quite fast. Once they get going, they just take time to get going. And two vans trying to overtake each other is quite funny. Especially if I'm one of the vans. You try ramming each other and you just slow down too much. And the person gets past you anyway, so... It's, yeah, these... I'm not sure if you can do up this one. I'll find out in a second. This might just be the end of the video for this one. So... It seems to be, well, I wouldn't say quite really nicely, but compared to the other one, it's, it's pulling up the hill. So. He's <laughs> back with a bit caught there. Uh, yep. That sound like a van through that tongue. Bah. Oh, look at that. That was nice cutting off the car, hitting me. That was like quite smooth. Ooh. Oh, look at that. I missed him. I can't believe I missed him. Oh, I missed him. That's, that's, uh, I'm quite happy with that. If I'm not happy with anything else about this car, I slid past the full drive and missed the end of him. Ah, this one's... Uh, yeah, I wouldn't say Corning's the greatest, though the speed kind of helps. And it doesn't... Right, oh, it's not overly out of this world fast. So it's enough to have a bit of fun and you don't mind braking because it's going to pick up that speed so it's quite a nice van I would have to say.
think this one, the Bravo, Bravo, that's a nice pen as well. Bravo, Bravo, Bravo. Comment below if you know what I'm talking about. Well, I just had to do a handbrake there. I know I shouldn't have, but it, this pen just looks like it wants you to do it. And when, you know, when the car wants to do something, you should just let the car do it. Oh, this is actually enjoyable. It seems like out of control, but it's actually... It's a nice slide. That was actually fun. I almost want to go to the top of the hill, go back down again. But I won't, because we're in a race for itself. To see if we can see the time. I'm not sure if it can be done up. We'll find out. Oh, I will let the bicyclist live. Hmm. Probably as fast as the other car is when it was done up. Uh, the maneuver here. Oh! <laughs> yeah. That seems like a, how a van moves to me. And the front moves and the back goes, nope, I'm going straight. Mean or an eye nip song. Nick, nip. Did I say nip? I meant nick. Nips something else. Ooh. He turned it. Uh, pedal to the middle, foot to the floor, gas all the way down, and we're climbing. Not very loudly, but we're fine. So soon we will be at the midpoint, and then it picks back up. And drive blindly around the corner on the wrong side of the road. That's good work, rock. And then drive the other way, and the other way. Just drive which we want. Because it's GTA. And handbrake again. Oh, look at that. Oh, into the dirt, but slowed down a bit too much. Probably should have broke. Broke. And then accelerate around. 35. It would be good if you could tell how fast you're going in this game. They would just stick to the speed limit. I might sometimes, but most of the time I just want to see how fast I'm going. And this is on the PlayStation 3, if I haven't said it. Oh, another grind. Cross the line for the fish. Ooh. Ooh. That was even slower, 714.28. Ooh. They were actually getting slower, so see you in a sec for the next bit. Alright, welcome everyone to next bit of it, uh, been upgraded, wheels been changed, I don't change the horn, I don't see the point of changing the horn when upgrading, but I do change the tire colour of how it smokes. So, let's get going, three, two, one, go. And, we're off. Bit of a trouble with the timer there, took a while. So, Tinted out the windows to limo black so you can't see in. 
The engine's been upgraded. This, I think, the suspension. The wheels have been, and the colour's been changed. Which I picked makes sense. Oh, and the number plate's been changed as well to Rock Lee for custom number plates. So hopefully we can shed us some time of what was um, done. It'd be quite good if we could shave off a minute, that would be amazing. Probably if I didn't slide down the corners. Oh, look at that. See, with the van, you just bash them over and they die. With other cars, they kind of push the car around. Do you think we should do a semi trailer with the uh, truck with the trailer, then the truck without the trailer, or just one? Or would that be like an upgrade, an upgrade? Comment below what you think. Or not. Do whatever you want. Yell at the screen, why and yell, why are you going faster? Faster. And why do you keep hitting the deer? And why don't you go off that ledge there? And why did you kill that person in the car? Because small shortcuts are big, good, long shortcuts are just better to drive around the circle. You don't really test the car. This is all about testing the car, see how it feels, what it's like, how it performs to your level of standards. And also showing you that it's not just the time, it's about driving the car through these lovely hills and if you're watching the lovely environments it's quite nice except for when I come up to this corner I want to swing the car a bit wide and just run over all those people there but I know it was stuffed up And also the braking and accelerating and what you should do it when and the sliding, oh the sliding. That's not a good car when we just passed. Could have been a did not finish then. Oh. Where do we keep going along here? Oh, we'll get back. Eventually back in the road. There we go. At least that looked cool. So coming up here, see if we can not nick when we do the corner. Oh, turn a bit sharp. There we go. Oh, there we go. Nice sliding. See how the back wheel slid. Because again, it said. Front wheels turn and the back wheels go, no, we're going forward. And then they went, okay, fine, we'll turn. So. I put a bit of handbrake then, but to turn the corner, but it just ended up sliding out. Uh, this has got a bigger engine in it, it's the fourth level up. Uh, it just seems to be making more noise. 
see at the end if we've got any faster. There's more noise, noise, noise. Try not to get sidetracked. I just want to be for dry. Oh, another one. This van's a killer. Oh, Rock Lee's driving the van. Is a killer. Get so many people. So the RH8 is actually quite better than these cars. Oh, maybe not. Maybe these last two is quite better. Even though it's got better timing than the um, other one, I would still go with the other one. As it's a bit more fun in those corners. It doesn't just go, oh, I'm going crazy, you smash. And this van was actually more fun when it wasn't done up. She was a bit weird. Have a go at yourself at the vans or the vehicles, see what you think. Tell me what you think. And across the finish line, pull the finish. And that did it in a seven. Oh, nine point one eight. So that was quicker, that was still slower than the other one, which was amazing. I see the damage, oh, a bit of smashing. Oh, we did kill a couple of people, that's what slowed us down, so. Oh, a big one. Comment below on what, what you think, and that's Rockery done in GTA. Thanks for watching, guys. Girls, Minecraft, and noobs.